Hey everyone, welcome back to Longland in Transport Fever 2. Yeah, uh, we're sitting here at Raccoon City, and uh, this is where we're going to do our next uh, connection point for uh, fuel delivery. And we'll ultimately be bringing uh, goods in here as well. Now, I, uh, I think I uh, talked last time about uh, bringing the rail line across along this side of the river. And that is, in fact, what I'm going to do because the fuel refinery is over on this side uh, over here. And that's going to be the most convenient way to get it there. And the uh, goods production is where? Uh, the goods factory. Where is it? You'd think I'd remember uh, it's up here. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be, uh, we can run uh, down out of here and connect up. Yeah, okay. Might do both of those here in this episode. Uh, right, so uh, what we're going to need here is a station in Raccoon City. Uh, so uh, we're going to go for a, uh, well, we're going to go for a cargo station. We'll throw two uh, in there. And I think we probably want to put it right about here. Yeah, you're going to need to put a road in there too. Well, yeah, of course, but this should reach just about everything. Okay, well, we'll put it there. Uh, right, okay, and then we're going to go for... Um, oh, we're going to put the road in first. Um, let's put one of these across here. So we'll put this. Bam. Maybe we'll let the town... No, the town won't do anything with that. Uh, we could connect it like that. Yeah, we could. Make it straight. Yep. Okay. And then we could make this come out like this. Yeah. Okay, now. Yeah, that covers everything. So uh, that that's exactly what we want. Uh, good. We're, we're good there. So now we just need to uh, build some tracks. Oh, we don't need uh, catenaries. Uh... No. Uh, turn that off. Tools. Uh, do this. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll go for uh, tracks. Now, how do we get them out here? Well, we want to go around uh, this way. So, I think we need to come through here. Now, if we force it flat here, and we do this... Yeah, the slopage is not egregious, so yeah, we can just do that. Um, right. Okay. So we have a couple of tracks heading out that way. Yeah, well, we definitely want to go along the coast because we have this uh, this um, uh, uh, rise over there. But we can just get that out of the way. Yeah. And then this can go this way and if we keep it level uh, because there's no need to uh, do anything else uh, we should be able to uh, make things uh, at least reasonable okay so as I may have mentioned in uh, previous well, let's get time rolling in previous episodes doing this it actually allows you to get a uh, crossing that's basically flat. Uh, so you know, if you just ran the uh, the track a long distance uh, across the road, uh, even though it snapped, you'll get an uneven crossing. But doing it with the short piece over the road seems to avoid that. So that's why I've been doing that. Now we need to come along here, right? And along, I don't know, something like this. Right. So running the uh, rails basically level uh, is uh, actually something somewhat true to life because uh, trains, it turns out, are not especially good at climbing hills. Uh, yeah, modern trains don't do too bad at the hills, but uh, trains are not especially good at it. It's the same stuff that makes them massively efficient at moving a lot of stuff a, a long distance. Uh, 
is the thing that makes them have trouble climbing hills, right? So uh, it turns out that, uh, uh, yeah, keeping your uh, tracks as flat as possible is uh, kind of smart. Now, we need to come out of here. So let's come off here at an angle about like that. And I think this track is level here. No, it's not. Oh. Uh, so we'll try that again. Yeah, okay. This track is not level here. But once the train's out of the way, we can see what we're doing. Okay, now. Uh, we want to go down about like that. Is that... Train's in the way. That is not quite right. Uh, train's in the way. Yeah, uh, train's in the way. Uh, that is also not quite right. If we back this up a bit. Okay, now, if we do this. How's that? Uh, not quite right. Um... Another train. Uh, no, uh, we'll uh, we'll do this this way. Uh, okay, now we need to bring one of these off here. Yeah. Now, how horrid does that look? It's uh, ex it's acceptable. Okay. Now, what we need to do is uh, come. No. Zoom in so you can actually see what you're clicking on. Yeah. And then we can come out like this. Yep. Good. And then we can just make our way over there. Like this sort of thing. Right. So that is a fairly high speed uh, divergence there. Uh, so it shouldn't uh, cause too much trouble for our trains. Now if we do this... Did that line up properly? Of course it didn't. That would be too easy. There we go. And not like it's terribly difficult to fix now, is it? Uh, anyway. Good. We have our uh, rail line connected. Uh, we're going to need a uh, crossover here. In the connect construction, not possible. Uh, right. Uh, we're going to need a crossover here. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. And we'll need to do some uh, signaling here. Uh, so we'll stick a signal here. Yeah. Um, we're going to stick a few along here just because we can, uh, and we'll no doubt, uh, because we're using the orbital bombardment view here, uh, we're going to put some in facing the wrong way, probably, uh, right, just need to, uh, bash a few of these in, uh, right, and, uh, over here, over here. Over here. And maybe we'll stick one here. And we'll definitely need one here. One here. And uh, that one's redundant. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do now is fling a train at that. Where are we going to get a train from? Well, a depot, of course. Uh, right, so the most convenient depot is probably over, it's probably this one. Okay, so we'll buy a train. Now, uh, Locos, what have we got for Locos? Uh, what's this guy? Electric, electric, steam. We don't have any useful diesels yet, so we're, we're on steam. The A4 is pretty grunty, and it would do pretty good. 1986. Uh, the Hiawatha is better, but it's bigger. Uh, the FD is actually pretty decent. Uh, especially, it's huge, though. Uh, we don't need the Class 9000. That's way overkill. Um, yeah, we'll use the FD. And now we're just going to grab cargo here. We need uh, some of these. Yep, 
So we'll buy a train. I think we probably only need one here. So we're going to do a new line, which is going to go from here. And it's going to go way over to here. Uh, okay, uh, so this is a cargo train, and it's uh, Hawkins Food, or Fuel, not Food, uh, Refinery to Raccoon City. Yeah, okay. Now, let's, uh, just for giggles, I mean, we're ten minutes in here, so we might as well just uh, uh, get on board here. And, uh, you know, so we'll jump on board up tempo it so this guy should be able to uh accelerate pretty decent now we've got trains that are running at 80k now so uh, we've got some uh, pretty uh, decent uh, uh train operations here uh, and that means that we could do another lap around the tr the trains on here but what i want to do uh, assuming I continue the series after I get the uh, cargo all connected up, I want to get the passenger connections sorted out nicely with uh, nice electric uh, rail lines and all that jazz. Uh, high speed electric rail lines so that we can we can get passenger transport between the metro areas. Um, and I think that's going to involve uh, building a parallel passenger network um, that mostly avoids uh, sharing track with the freight trains. Um, and it's just because we have so many freight trains on here. I mean, this is a uh, connect everything to everything uh, series, right? Uh, but it's, uh, it's not... Uh, Uh, really, uh, it, it's not it's not like you generally see on a like a square map. That's where I was going with it. On a square map, you would have um, you know a lot of lines crisscrossing every which way to connect things up with bespoke lines and all that jazz, right? But uh, in this case, it doesn't quite work out that way because of the way the land sets up. We ended up with the with a pair of uh, main lines on either side of the river, and that uh, that uh, you know it's main lines, but with point-to-point -point services running on them. So I think that's a little bit more uh, realistic to uh, everyday uh, life operations for a lot of rail networks, where you've got point-to-point uh, -point, uh, transport of uh, major freight. And then you've got um, uh, container shipping, which is, uh, you know, random stuff. And then you've got uh, trains moving uh, wagons of various types from place to place and so on. <clears throat> right. Okay, so uh, I think probably something that uh, would be worth doing uh, if I did a, a second pass on this map. Uh, would be to uh, would be to uh, run the uh, to redo some of these stations so that uh, they have through tracks that are uh, uh, unobstructed and uh, arrange approaches and so on so that uh, through trains don't get uh, delayed. Right. But even so, this is working uh, surprisingly well. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, doing this, you kind of get an appreciation for how well the uh, railroads uh, got established e in the 1800s and early 1900s, how the networks got so uh, dense. Uh, so quickly in uh, in in, in uh, areas like uh, like England. Uh, that's that's a major place here. Uh, yeah, we're over on our new track here now. And now, of course, this isn't an accurate simulation of real life. You know, uh, like obviously it's not. But it does uh, it does give you an idea on how the network effect of rail lines really sets up. Uh, you know, when was the last time we had to build a uh, 
rail segment that went like the length of the half the length of the map, right, to get between uh, places. We just had to uh, to build uh, connection spurs and whatever, and uh, get uh, get traffic going on it, and then unpick some traffic jams, right? Uh, which is a lot less tedious than the initial builds. If you remember some of those initial builds, you know they were pretty. They, they were pretty long and, uh, you know, a bunch of tracks, not much going on, right? Uh, instead of the, uh, let's build a track over here and then a track over here and a track over here, right? Now we're coming into the, the station here, uh, so we'll uh, drop the tempo back down. We're up coming up on 1940, so we're going to start getting diesel. Well, that's 500k uh, with um, only nine fuel on board yeah uh so that's uh there's that um you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a uh cargo no i'm gonna put a misc i'm gonna put uh stairs over here yeah and then i'm gonna go and uh build a road along here uh, about like this. Yeah. And then this, it can come up to about here. No. No, I think it'll go like this. Straight. Yeah. And this will go straight. Yeah. And so will that. Okay. So that gets the uh, the station fully connected. It actually looks a little saner that way, it, it, to my mind. Right. Okay. So now we don't need to do much more here to bring the uh, the goods in there. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do uh, goods coming out of here. Um. Yeah. Uh, we'll just uh, bring them across the uh, the. Uh, the river here so we're gonna come out of here uh, we're not gonna use that bridge uh, maybe this one yeah that one's better uh, we'll we'll keep it level here uh, you know it will come up to here actually we're gonna do that as an embankment yeah and then we're gonna come across here level with the uh, the white bridge yeah and then we're going to do this yeah okay yeah that'll work okay so we're gonna need two tracks across here yeah uh, gonna need to do this as well because uh, I, I think we want it on this platform. Uh, now, we need... Oh, I can do this without a... Uh, uh, if we keep this level, uh, we can do a uh, non-blocking, uh, like a grade-separated um, uh does, how does that... No, that's not what we're going to do. No, we're going to do... Uh, let the train go by. And we're going to do this. And uh, that's going to have to go up a bit. Nope. No, that does need to be level. Okay. Okay, we'll level that. And then this can go up to there. Yeah. Yeah, that will be uh, that will be that, and then this. Yeah, yeah, this will come down around similarly. Okay, we'll need a thing that comes out like this. Uh, how good is that? That's uh, that's good. Uh, this will need to uh, start going up there, and then from here, no. If we start it from here, we do this. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, well, what we're going to do is uh, do this. Yeah. Yep. And then we're going to come back here and uh, do the same with that. Okay. And this is going to be like that. Yep. And then we'll do the same over here. Yep. Okay. And this goes up like that. Uh, bam. Uh, yep. Where's the... There it is. Okay, so that gets us a uh, connection point that uh, won't, uh, won't cause us any trouble. Now, uh, we need uh, signals again here. Yep. We definitely need one here and one here and one... Yeah, one over there is probably fine. Okay, now... We need one here, and one here, one here, and yeah, we'll put one in the middle of the bridge. Okay. Now we just need to bring uh, well, what we're going to do here is uh, first of all, uh, we're going to look at that and that. Oh, those don't need to be on the same. Yeah. Right, now what we're going to do is uh, uh, configure this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah. Now we'll, uh, no, we can do that. Uh, okay, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to have an extra track here. And we're going to take one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Take that one out. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then uh, we stick a uh, cargo platform here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, and also what we're going to do is uh, go in tools and turn off electrification here. Because we're not going to use electrics for the freight in this series. We're not, we're, we're going to run out of time before uh, it's time to do that. And uh, where can we launch a train from? This would seem inopportune. Or is it? Uh, the train can come... Nope. It doesn't, doesn't work from there. Okay. Um, wait, no, the train can come here, come off here, come down this way, come around here, come around here, come down here. Yeah, that won't work. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do then is launch it from here because we know we can reach the end station at Raccoon City. Yeah. So here, now we're going to need boxcars, right? So, that boxcar will do. Uh, and then we'll go again with the FD. Uh, we'll buy that. Yeah? Uh, okay, new line. And it's going to go from here to here. And that has done exactly what we want it to do. Uh, okay. Now we'll uh, keep that open. Uh, and this is going to be cargo train from Emerald City Goods to Raccoon City. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. I've, I'm pretty sure I've gone and changed my uh, naming scheme here. Uh, but let's, uh, let's jump on board this guy. Uh, yeah, so we'll just jump on board here and uh, wait for, for our train to get where it's going. And uh, that will uh, pretty much be the end of this episode, where uh, uh, we will have our first goods delivery. 
and uh, we'll have one more fuel delivery done. I think we've got uh, we've got the one uh, megaplex at the end of the map, and there's another one I think somewhere else. Uh, I I seem to recall when I set up the map, I had. Uh, when I had some doubts about uh, what extra, what cargo to put somewhere, I went for fuel, because it's not like fuel isn't useful, right? Uh, okay. Now this is working amazingly well. All of this, uh, how this set up, it's just worked out amazingly well. Some really complex junction layouts <coughs> in some of these metro areas. And off we go. Yep. So we're heading for Raccoon City first. And then we'll just see if going back and forth to the uh, goods factory works out as expected. Of course, we have a train that's running way faster than the other trains on the uh, line. So that does, of course, uh, change the complexion a little bit, too. Uh, right. And it's pretty clear we're going to have to turn a light on in here after recording this one. Yeah. you got to love December in northern latitudes where uh, the sun starts going down at, like, uh, three o'clock in the afternoon or three thirty, and it's dark by four thirty or something like that. Now you gotta love that. Uh, you know, in case you're wondering, it's about uh, three thirty when I'm in the afternoon, uh, or three o'clock or so when I'm recording this, right? Um, okay, where are we? Oh, we're going past that place, right? Remember when we uh, when we launched the early trains and we just uh, and they just um, struggled along at like ten or fifteen k or less up up uh, mild hills, and now we've got uh, this uh, Russian number here ticking along at uh, max speed here without any trouble. We do have some uh, pretty solid um, throughput going on here, though. Okay, here's our uh, flyover business at the uh, junction here. You know something that I would love from a uh, transportation game is one where the um, scales are consistent. So, um, like here, the vehicles and rail are a much larger scale than the towns themselves are, right? Uh, uh, so, uh, and that's largely so you can see stuff on the map, right? But I would, lo I would love it if the, uh, if the games would... Um, uh, would have a uh, larger scale, like like a consistent scale. So if you're going to have um, uh, ten towns, you you know, uh, in a line, uh, you know that should be at least a hundred miles long, uh, because uh, you know usually you're going to have uh, ten or fifteen miles between towns on a rail line. You know, in the early days, and that was so that trains could uh, stock up on fuel and water, right? Um, so if you're going to have uh, a, a dense network of towns, you, you don't want you want 10 or 15 miles uh, minimum uh, between most of them. Uh, but here, if you consider the towns are are, are say 10 miles apart, um, you know, like that's a whole uh, that's a whole medium map, I think. Um, so yeah. Uh, like like the scales don't don't match right uh, so if if the scale of the map is based on the length of rail and road 
uh, you know, what the meters it gives you, then the buildings are way too big. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so this looks like it's going to work out uh, just fine. But I'd like to see one of these where they they get the scales right so that when you need to build complex uh, road or rail junctions, they don't take up the space that an entire town does. Because that's not realistic. Even a small town doesn't take up the same, take up the entire amount, uh, like doesn't fit in the footprint of a, uh, a reasonable cloverleaf uh, interchange on a road, right? So, uh, yeah, like really tiny towns, you could put them in the, in the uh, loop of a cloverleaf, but uh, non, like towns that are, are worth mentioning usually are large enough they're they're uh, they're usually uh you know a mile across or something like that or half a mile across uh, you know and, and uh you know some rail junctions might be that big sure but road junctions certainly you aren't uh unless it's a really big freeway right yeah so that's all working uh good uh right well uh, that is going to be enough for this episode, and we're up to 1940. Um, so the diesels will start coming along in the 50s and 60s, and uh, that that's going to change the complexion of things some. But anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, call the part here, put the cut in, and next time around, uh, what are we looking for? Uh, we've done Raccoon City with fuel. Um... Jericho doesn't need fuel. So yeah, we're down to uh, two fuel deliveries over in the... Uh, uh, I guess the DC Comics Metroplex. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we'll get the last fuel delivery sorted out. This is going to be a little bit more uh, complicated. So I think... I'm going to bring it in here and just truck it. Yeah, that, that's different. I think that's what I'll do. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for uh, for this episode here. Oh, wait. No, I can bring it in in both. I can bring it in here. Um... Yeah, if I bring it in like that. Huh. Well, anyway, that's a problem to solve next time. So anyway, uh, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. You know, that usual business. You know, that's that's just the thing you, you do on, uh, on the YouTubes, right? Uh, and, of course, if you prefer, you can dislike, even though there's no count shown. Uh, you know, it's perfectly fine. You know, if you want to do that, do it. You know, it won't hurt my feelings any. And, of course, the bell thing. If you do that... I uh, turn that on, you might get some notifications and maybe that's useful. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't find them terribly useful, but maybe you do. It's, it's, it's all up to you. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. See you back next time.